Hello dear learners, welcome to APG Parsala. I am Dr. Anil Prakash Sharma, Director, Ideal Institute of Management and Technology and School of Law, affiliated to GGSIP University, Delhi. Well, learners, today we will talk about the topic, Education in Search of Identity. And our objectives are to learn about the strength of prevailing education system in India, to know about the crisis being faced by education in India, to provide the information regarding the achievement in education so far, to know about the challenges and realities faced by education system in India, to develop our understanding about human resource development. And the expected outcomes are, after going through this lesson, the learner will be able to know about the crisis prevailing in Indian education system, understand the strength of Indian education system, understand the achievement of Indian education system, know about the challenges and realities of teacher education in India, know about the quality concerns of manpower, planning and teacher education. Now let's see something about education identity crisis that are prevailing in this country. Since ages, the universe has been concerned of education. All were having access to education for sharing their states. Teachers and educationists were universally respected. Now, the scenario is changing. Why education is losing its identity? Understand the action plan for quality teacher education. There will be many key words in this topic, which are teacher, education, teacher education, challenges, reality, and strength. All of us have largely failed in realizing identity of education. Rather than others seeking guidance from education, education is being invited to receive dictations from state and judiciary. Arbitrary policies and judicial overactivism are likely to damage education. There is evident identity crisis of education. It is high time for education to realize its identity. The question is, why the identity crisis? There is crisis of character. Soul of education is being killed through ruthless expansion and privatization leading to marketization of education. Market is being perceived as the arbiter of the morality. Blind ultra-modernization has resulted into the corrosion of Eastern values. We have lost our sensitivity to the basic values and sanskaras. The soul provides energy, whereas the sanskaras provide modus operandi, but the unbridled marketization of education has reduced education to a commodity to be brought and sold mechanistically in the market. Expression without essence and laughter without resonance are worthless. Convocation without invocation is useless. Graduates and postgraduates, degrees of a degree are of little value. Degree is one of the elements. What use is the humanity degree which does not develop decency, decorum and discipline and fails to process us as human beings? What use is a science degree which does not reconstruct in us open-minded scientific outlook? What use are the law degrees if there is lawlessness? What use are the political science degrees if we fail to develop statesmen? What use is that art which fails to manifest thematic creative expression? Mathematical formulas are empty and mechanistic if these fail to represent the reality. Social science degrees which fail to produce social and civic personalities and citizens. Graduates and postgraduates. Degrees of a degree are of little value. Vestes, what use is a doctor of philosophy degree if we fail to philosophize the field? What use are the elections if we fail to find and elect Rajarishi? Let me tell you something about Rajarishi. Rajarishi is one of the character which is highly moralistic and which helps the society as a whole. Let us recall integral humanism of Sri Aurobindo and holistic man of the Vedic period, where the emphasis has been on holistic education for man making. Physical, mental, social, spiritual, environmental, and finally universal being. 
Here, we recall the efforts of Professor Tien Kapoor, former Vice Chancellor, Punjab University, Chandigarh, who insisted that principles and philosophies of education be taught even to the commerce students. The altruistic purpose of teacher education has been significantly lost. There is a need to strengthen teacher education at all levels. Now let's have some observations from NCFTE 2009 preface. People in this country have been slow to recognize that education is a profession for which intensive preparation is necessary as it is in any other profession. This concern expressed in the University Education Commission 1948 and 1949 report is alive in its relevance even today. The Education Commission 1964-66 professed the destiny of India is now being shaped in her classrooms. The status of the teacher reflects the sociocultural ethos of the society. It is said that no people can rise above the level of its teachers. Though rarely a professional, the teacher's personality in being humane to the learners is a core fundamental issue on which this framework is based. Issues related to inclusive education, perspectives for equitable and sustainable development, gender perspectives, role of community knowledge in education and ICT in schooling, as well as e-learning become the center stage in the framework. The curriculum of teacher education is broadly dealt with the under foundations of education curriculum and pedagogy in school internship. The foundation of education include learner studies, contemporary studies, and educational studies. Curriculum and pedagogy deals with curriculum studies and assessment of evaluation studies. The school internship is visualized by stating the practice of teaching in the broader context of vision and the role of teacher and sustain engagement with learners and schools. In a departure from the existing approaches, the rationale of each major area along with curricular provisions, both in theory and practicum have been indicated, leaving scope for individual reflections on the part of the institutions, offering teaching, education, and the academics associated with them. Transactions of the curriculum and evaluating the developing teacher determine the extent to which the ideas conceptualized are put into practice. The focus on process-based teacher education has been attempted as models for practicing teachers to adopt or adapt. The suggestion to establish teaching learning centers to act as laboratories for the theory and practice of teacher training has been emphasized. An appropriate focus on comprehensive curriculum evaluation of developing teachers has been drawn up through an evaluation protocol and suggestions given for designing instruments for assessment and evaluation. The conventional models of teacher education may continue Though the framework does provide directions towards change in the structural aspects of teacher education at elementary, secondary, and postgraduate levels. One reform that could achieve a breakthrough to vitalize teacher education and through it the process of learning and teaching is to break the isolation of teacher education institutions from the university life, from the schools, and from one another. The framework reiterates in unequivocal terms the need for this reform. Pre-service and in-service components of teacher education being inseparable, considerable focus has been given in framework. Let's have a look what NCFTE 2009 and NCF 2005 achievement are there so far. There is added focus on multiple intelligence and life skills. Critical pedagogy has been promoted in various dimensions of the school through cooperative learning. 
participatory approach and action research. Rarely attempts have been made to motivate children from marginalized sections of society for expression of their knowledge and skills related to work and to have cumulative human experience along with children from other sections. Real attempts have been made to develop citizenship skills. There is evident rejection of the old and acceptance of the new. There are segregated schools on the basis of public and private. Medium of instruction, religion, region and school boards. All this segregation has resulted into the fragmentation of the society. There are marked differences between municipal corporation schools and private schools, native schools and international baccalaureates. The private school students may have higher academic achievement, but they may have ethos related limitations. Very often a non-native language is barrier in constructing knowledge. Even now, the children are deprived of the learning opportunities that occur in classroom with children from diverse socio-economic and cultural backgrounds. A large number of public schools still suffer from shortage of facility of infrastructure. It affects adversely not only academic learning but also overall health of the children. There are rare teachers who have both teaching competences and teaching attitude. Humane and professional teachers both in one are rarely found. There is a need to redesign teacher education curricula and modes of transaction, as well as approaches to inculcate universal values, namely truthfulness, compassion and forbearance. Our school education has to be strong to appreciate the preamble of Constitution of India, which demands determination and action to constitute, sustain and strengthen India into a sovereign, socialistic, secular, democratic republic state. The sharp disparities between different schools and economic groups are everywhere in perceptible range in India. Even now, the children of the disadvantaged groups are educationally most vulnerable. Though we have large number of multi-grade schools based on mechanical principle of teacher-pupil ratio within one kilometer of each habitation, yet we have not been in a position to provide compatible pedagogy. Child-centered education is still in infancy. Constructivist learning approach has been talked a lot but rarely implemented in the schools. Many schools have uh, initiated into activity-based approach, but it needs to be strengthened. Rarely, teachers are competent to deal with inclusive classes. Diagnosis and remediation are done rarely. School stereotypes exist even now, such as notion of uneducable children, marginalized groups, gender type stereotypes, children with disabilities, first generation learners, problems of bridging the home language and school language, a vast array of human vocations such as weaving, carpentry, farming and occupations such as shopkeeping constitute a valuable form of knowledge. These forms of knowledge are of practical nature, tacit but often only partially articulated. Neither the curricular nor the co-curricular activities are up to the mark. Many children in English medium schools are not at ease with English. Worse is the scenario on vernacular. Mathematics teaching learning is dull and dry. History and civics are gone. No sensitivity to cultural heritage and religious heritage and Eastern values. Social sciences cease to have normative responsibility. Science is losing scientific outlook and inlook. Holism is a figment of imagination. 
Health education, human rights education, environmental education, art education, physical education, education for peace and harmony have become empty slogans. Let's see, there are certain challenges and realities in Indian education system. Manpower planning is relatively absent in teacher education. There is remarkable increase in the number of teacher education institutions, but there are mismatches between the teaching degrees and levels taught. Some of the states filled new vacancies with para teachers, while trained teachers remained unemployed. On a radium per month of the para teachers appointed in different states range from rupees 1000 per month as Andhra Pradesh to rupees 4000 per month as in MP. In uh, some of the states such as MP, Gujarat, future teachers in the former system will be Shiksha Karmis, Shiksha Sahak on performance contract. Indian teachers have been teaching in the schools in West Asia particularly the United Arab Emirates. Mathematics, science and English teachers are in maximum demand. Thousands of secondary school teachers are already employed in foreign schools. There are problems of education right from prenatal stage to old age. Children are losing their beauties of childhood. Children are interested in fast and junk food than homemade food. Children are going far away from nature because we have failed in sustaining the beauties of nature. The Eastern ethos and sensitivity to the basic values are fading. The entire school education, history, civics, language, mathematics, science are losing their essence. The creativity of the children is killed by the schools. There are problems of cell phones and Facebooks. Adolescents are bewildered. It seems the sociologists, psychologists, and counselors have largely gone defunct. Educational institutions have started disowning their own product. What are the SET, NET, TAT, TAT, TAT representatives of? There is little convergence amongst state, society, education, and judiciary. More than solutions, there are problems of all sorts of education. School education, teacher education, medical education, engineering education, law education, art education, and science education. Education, research, and development are the least priority, as is evident through the investment by the state. Apex institutions such as NCERT, NCTE, NUEPA, ICSSR, CIIL, UGC, and NAC have lot of potential but for expression. Health education and uh, environmental education are the most neglected areas. Public at large is indifferent towards education. Corporate social responsibility finds rare expression. Rather than holistic, what we have is uh, fragmented education. There is nowhere delicated teacher education in India. The identity of education as highest interdisciplinary is rarely recognized and respected. Content, pedagogy, technology, education is a big challenge. Skill training is lacking. Education is failing to appreciate innovative courses such as taxonomy of educational skills. Teacher education on life skills such as literal and critical thinking, innovativeness, problem solving needs to be strengthened. With the implementation of SSA, there is a relatively better state of education. We need thorough preparation for teacher education at all levels from pre-primary through higher. Now let us have a look at teacher education quality concerns. First we have manpower planning. Total number of recognized teacher education institutes in India as on 31st March 2013 is 13,054. 
it has ERC 944, WRC 3904, NRC 3409 and SRC 4797. Total teacher education courses recognized and intake approved are presented through table number 1. In this table, if we go through the teacher education course number recognized on 31st March 2013 and intake approved on 31st March 2011 and intake approved on 31st March 2012 and similarly on 31st March 2013 and additional intake approved during 2012-13. I'll be talking about beard face to face. Number recognized on 31st March 2013 was 6660. Whereas intake approved on 31st March 2011 was 6,50,901. And intake approved on 31st March 2012 was 6,57,541 and intake approved on 31st March 2013 was 6,82,086 whereas additional intake approved during 2012 and 13 was 24,545. Now let us have a look at uh, MED face to face. Number recognized on 31st March 2013 was 928, whereas intake approved on 31st March 2011 was 22,805 and intake approved on 31st March 2012 was 23,255 and intake approved on 31st March 2013 was 23,000. 680, whereas additional intake approved during 2012 and 13 was 425 only. Rest of the table shows the other things in this and you can have a look at that also. In uh, manpower planning, second thing which we have to see is that multi-mode teacher education. It is highly desirable that the first professional degrees diploma in teacher education be offered only in face to face mode. But face to face mode of teacher education is not that credible as it is used to be. Even in the face to face mode, it is publicly evident that there are teacher education degrees such as DLED, BED, particularly in the private sector with and without attendance. A large number of teacher education institutions are understaffed. Infrastructural facilities are inadequate there are innumerable problems. Further, open and distance learning mode can also provide very good platform. Many a web 2.0 tools, social networking sites like Adblocks, Blackboard, Twitter, groups in Facebook, Skype, WhatsApp are very good, where teachers can interact in synchronous as well as asynchronous mode. It can be blended with face-to-face -face mode. Web portals are required where many teachers come together. There are many open education resources for teacher educators, teachers and learners, namely GeoGebra, Google Earth, Hot Potato, CMAP, R Campus, Mahara, Moodle and Wikispaces, Classroom 2.0 Visual Field Trip, In-Service Training Program, Academic Association, Collaboration and Forum journals and other resources, statistical tools and web conferencing. There are many a mass media such as educational radio, ETV along with satellites. No mode of teacher education, however modern or classical standalone, is self-contained. There ought to be mutual support. Teacher education in India ought to be multi-mode. There should be sharing of strengths amongst various modes, namely face-to-face, -face, ODL, electronic correspondence. Third point, dedicated teacher education programs. Dedicated teacher education programs ought to be tried at the laboratory level, such as BA, BSc, BTech, BCom, BEd. 
10 plus 2 plus 4 system, MA, MSc, MTech, MCOM, MED, 10 plus 2 plus 7 system, MA, MSc, MTech, MCOM, PhD, 10 plus 2 plus 7 plus 3 system. These programs be offered as innovative programs. There is a notion that the duration of teacher education programs be increased. Will increase in time duration of teacher education programs assure and ensure quality teacher education. There ought to be added focus on in-service professional development of the teachers rather than issuing the lifelong teaching licenses. These could be renewed periodically. Fourth point is beard integrated or beard sequential. The nation has decided to offer BA, beard in all the central universities of India, though it is an arbitrary national policy decision. But it does not mean that BA ad integrated has supremacy over BA beard sequential. Both have their due place in the realm of teacher education. The face validity of both the programs reveals that both these ought to have separate norms. Fifth point is innovative teacher education. Innovative teacher education such as personalized teacher education, holistic teacher education, technology integrated teacher education, Bachelor of Computer in Education, BCEd, Master of Computer in Education, MCEd, Integrated Teacher Education, E-Teacher Education ought to be promoted. Sixth point is Specialized Teacher Education. Teacher education ought to specialize in many areas such as Art Education, Health Education, CSR and Education, ICT in Education, Yoga Education, value education, inclusive education, social networking, taxonomy of educational skills, taxonomy of educational research. There is a need to offer programs such as BLED, MLED, BCEd, MCEd, Bachelor of Management Education, BMED and MMED. Next, we can have the seventh point as quality indicators. What are the various quality indicators? These are curriculum design, curriculum transaction and evaluation, research development and extension, infrastructure and learning resource, student support and progression, organization and management. How to observe quality ought to be spelt very analytically and comprehensively. There should be teacher education quality assurance. Let's have the next point, JNTU, IGNU and faculty development programs for teacher educators. It is a welcome movement that the nation is thinking of professional development of teacher education through the JNTU and IGNU. It is a happy moment to learn that IGNU is ensuring the compatible and quality teacher education and is expected to offer faculty development programs. The JNTU being an established technology university is also expected to intervene teacher education. The roles expected of these two universities with respect to professional development of teacher educators and teachers need to be delineated scientifically. Next point is capacity building courses in teacher education. Courses such as follows could be offered by the SCERTs. ASCs, RCCs, IASCs and CTEs. These are ICT in education, social networking, info savvy skills, techno pedagogic skills, teacher in the digital age, open educational resources, taxonomy of educational skills, taxonomy of educational research, educational research thrust in India, collective wisdom of India, researching pioneer competency, teacher competency mapping and management, researcher competency mapping and management, health education in India, corporate social responsibility and education, vocational and occupational skills, 
management skills, life skills and attitude, adjustment skills, special education skills, human development skills, accountability and adaptability, communication skills, self-direction skills, social responsibility skills, human relations skills, emotional skills, spiritual intelligence skills, innovation, creation and construction skills, holistic education skills, interdisciplinary skills, value integrated education, yoga education skills, qualitative research in education, employing mixed research methodology, development of tools and techniques for educational research, shifting programs of teacher education, quality indicators of teacher education, ensuring quality of teacher education, identity of education, cultural, moral and religious heritage of India, development challenges and educational determinism, status of educational placements and constitutional right to education, status of human development index in India, universal happiness index, status of teacher education in India, establishing evidence of teacher education modes, formulating teacher education policy, establishing norms for teacher education parameters, education for the disadvantaged groups, inclusive education. It also includes continuous professional development of teachers, career advancement in teacher education, revisiting teacher education curricula, revisiting act norms and regulations of teacher education, establishment of inter-university consortiums in teacher education, exploring the possible roles of state, society, education and judiciary in teacher education. Research agenda for teacher education, developing competencies of teacher educators for enhancing creative writing abilities of the learners. ICT aided constructivist approach for professional development of teachers. Reflections on the academic performance indicators. Indian consortium of research in education and strengthening educational research. Action research as my research. Research synthesis and meta-analysis. Educational philosophy of India. Quality of Indian teacher educators. Manpower planning in teacher education. Digital lesson designing and implementation. Developing professional and human teachers. School curriculum framework and teacher education curriculum framework. Teacher education, public and private. Multiple intelligence. It does have policies and programs. Assessment through rubrics. Portfolio assessment. Working with the community. Symbiosis. Participatory approach of problem solving. Cooperative learning. E-learning packages on various methods. And then specialized teacher education programs, pedagogy, critical, reflective and constructive. Teacher education for disadvantaged and differently able groups. Physical education, education for skill development, education for parenting, development of skills for food processing. Psychology of infant, child, adolescent, young, adult and the right. Education of Eastern and Western values. Now the next point, the tenth one is human resource development and capacity building centers. In this, we have four types of programs and these have been proposed to be launched for the faculty. Orientation programs focused on conceptual understanding of uh, allied subjects to promote cross-discipline education and research. Subject specific or group allied subject specific courses at advanced level. Advanced level workshops, summer schools for emerging trends and areas of research besides the above.
need based capacity building programs for non academic staff are also proposed to be launched mainly by advanced centers there is uh, an action plan for quality teacher education and this says that the teacher educators at any level of teacher education should be essentially master degree in education teacher education should be mandatory for teaching at higher education level also in all the disciplines education for teaching higher education is gaining momentum globally the constitution of the present council general body of the ncte needs to be reexamined the thinking that integrated teacher education is more effective than the consecutive teacher education needs to be reexamined there is uh, little evidence of its efficiency and cost effectiveness let us summarize the whole topic once again educationists must think of education in a holistic manner and not from the perspective of narrow specialization which obliterates the big picture too much of respect for compartmentalized domains of education defeats the basic goal of developing integrated personality perhaps the biggest error of kotari commission on education is to consider the education in compartmentalized fashion there is a need of doing through functional analysis for realizing the identity of education and teacher education the ncte may revisit the act norms and regulations which at places seem to be more idealistic than realistic the recommendations of justice warma commission ought to be scientifically implemented where needed and feasible the indian teacher education calls for revolutionary changes content pedagogy and technology ought to be integrated there should be open forums and public debates on teacher education policy in india we ought to have a comprehensive teacher education policy thank you